Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. This is part four of our journey around Croatia and we're still in the township of Sen. On this occasion we're off to Nehai and Nehai is the name of the hill that is found above the center of the town of Sen in Croatia. More famous is the Nehai fortress that stands at top of the hill. The name Nehai comes from the Croatian term Nehaiti which means don't care. Now, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing those words correctly, but I've given it my best shot for now. The name was given to the hill and the fortress by the Uzcoks, who built on top of this hill the fortress for defensive purposes. They gave their hill and the fortress such a name because they wanted to emphasise to the citizens of the town of Sen that all those that lived in the vicinity of the town of Sen that they should not care that someone would conquer this hill or the fortress until they are there. The fortress was built by Croatian Army General Ivan Lenkovic, a captain of the Uskoks. Finished in 1558, it was built on the remains and ruins of churches, monasteries and houses which were situated outside the walls of Sen. These buildings were scrapped since it was concluded that they would not survive anyway if they were outside of the city walls, as the Ottomans would loot them and use them as housing during sieges. The fortress was mainly built to fight the Ottoman Empire. The fortress is 18 metres or 59 feet tall and 23 metres or 75 feet wide and square shaped with walls averaging from 2 to 3 metres or 6.6 9.8 feet in thickness. There are five towers on top of the fortress and 11 large cannon openings along the walls. Inside the fortress there are displays of cannons and other household items as well as a collection of costumes and weapons of the Uskoks of Sen. There is an annual medieval festival that is held in Sen and an important part of it is when the Uskoks march up to the fortress on horseback. There are also crafting workshops and other medieval themed attractions around the fortress at the time, as well as a detailed overview of its history. Today, the fortress serves mainly as a museum with exhibits of weapons, clothing, drawing and models of various things from the time when the fortress was actively used. Virtually all areas of the fort are accessible, including the toilet which dangles over the edge but is not available for use today. Uh, and you will see that with the footage that we provide a little bit later. Now the fortress is open seven days a week between the hours of 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and they do have tours. So it is advised if you do wanna take that tour to book before you arrive. On this occasion, my son and I just wandered around on our own and we noted straight away that a lot of the displays have um, messages written in four separate languages including English so you can go on your own and there is a lot to read in as I said four different languages I think it's English Croatian German and I think French but I'm not 100% sure but definitely English now once you're there there is a cafe and a restaurant within the fortress itself however um, because we arrived so early because our intention was to fly the drone uh, we noted that the restaurant or the cafe, I think opens at lunchtime, so about 12 o'clock. Now, just a quick note, uh, when you're climbing the stone staircase and when you reach the actual parapets, the view is absolutely surreal, it's breathtaking and definitely worth the effort. However, just watch your head as the height in that stairwell and in particular the corner viewing towers at the top are extremely low. So without further ado, please enjoy this fortress in Sen.
So here we are nearing the end of this presentation or video, and I hope you enjoyed it. We actually had a ball um, just exploring this fortress. And if you did like the uh, video, by all means, click on that uh, thumbs up button or that like button, and please subscribe. Subscribe doesn't cost you one cent, and it really helps out this channel immensely. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe, and have a great day.